Well, hello guys, or good morning Vietnam. Anyway, we are presenting here Sanyo micro cassette recorder. This one, uh, I don't know exact year. The, um, there are a couple of similar versions there from 1991. Maybe this one is a little bit newer. I don't know. So markings, right? Oh reversed now uh, let me try to zoom here a little bit this one is a uh, model number trc 500 m and it is made in korea okay and uh it, it's interesting i have a couple of these you know this one i uh, even from couple of last videos this one is produced in uh, uh, China uh, engineered in Tokyo Japan or at least Taiva uh, is uh, located uh, like center in, in Tokyo Japan whatever but it is produced in China and uh, this one Panasonic uh, I like and use this one a lot this one is uh, made in Japan okay so this one is from Japan from China and this one is from Korea <laughs> so funny constellation but it seems that um, these guys from uh, these regions uh, really like to record stuff if you know what I'm saying <clears throat> I mean conversations on HF and journalist stuff I didn't mean about anything else I don't know if you have dirty mind or something well anyway let me uh, pull out my Alabama accent or something like that. Well, let me explain a little bit of stuff about this one. And uh, I'm gonna try to be as fast as I can because I think that uh, you guys are in, in the kind of rush, right? Anyway, well, I don't know if, what kind of accent is that. Probably I'm watching too much movies. <clears throat> so, right, comments. They're similar to this Panasonic one and uh, they're really, really good. It is better on Panasonic than on uh, Sanyo, but probably I'm not using Sanyo that, that much, so they are a little bit rougher, but way smoother than on Aiva. Aiva do have like, a, like a rough controls. I'm not using these guys too much, but there you go. Panasonic is a little bit better. Is this thing working? Yes, absolutely. We do have 3.5 millimeter connector here. I mean, it's for earphone uh, volume uh, setup, which is also microphone amplifier setup, um, sensitivity when you push record. Everything is working. There is a pause, classical stuff, uh, rewind, uh, back, uh, sorry, uh, in front, front stuff, like in front direction, back direction, whatever the term is in English. Yeah, so the cassettes here, I really love them. They're really, really cool. As I mentioned in a couple of last videos, I never understood the markings on these. 90 minutes, 60 minutes speed, whatever, 2.4. Oops. Right. You need to be a little bit strong with this one. So 2.4 and 1.2 classical stuff. And yet another notice, uh, when you are uh, playing the stuff, don't change the speed. Uh, if there are some kind of gear in it, maybe you can break it, maybe not. Maybe it's not hard gear maybe it's some other transmission but don't uh, play it and change the speed it's, it's just stupid i know that from experience so i can tell okay so let's try to record something on this one uh, maximum okay let's let's put this uh, bad boy on a maximum and uh it's not on pause right so this is uh, 25 30 centimeters from out there is a microphone between uh sorry there is a phone between uh Recorder and my mouth, 25-30 centimeters, uh, maximum sensitivity, right? And now let's go to 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters from out, 5 centimeters from out, blah, blah, blah. Check 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Yeah, so, short stuff. Let's go to start. Okay, let's roll it a little bit. Oh, it's already done. And uh, let's play. This thing is obviously working, the audio is strong. When we talk about diameter, uh, I mean about width of speaker, they are similar, actually same, uh, with Panasonic thingy. Uh, pas oh, similar, not same, similar. Well, at least judging by the holes. So, this is 4 centimeters, this is close, I think, to 4 centimeters, but, and both of these guys are, are strong. I don't know if you can see what is the exact size, let me try to remove these guys. 
um, maybe this is not exactly 4 centimeters, 3 and 3.5 centimeters, something like that. I cannot really judge, I'm not going to open this dude. So that's like, yeah, I don't know, 3 and a half, something like that. But uh, Palenosonic definitely do have a very nice uh, audio. This Sanyo do have really nice audio and unfortunately this Aiva uh, do have a smaller smaller speaker inside so yeah this is from china this is from korea this is from this is from uh, what was it japan so you have multiple options right 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 anyway so what was the price of these thingies uh, on ebay at the moment when i was recording this there are multiple of ads but i have found one let me try to get closer here Oh, okay, let me try to zoom. So this is like Great Britain pound, probably I said that correctly, it's a 35 uh, uh, pounds or 44 dollars. So generally when you have these guys, like a new, uh, they are around, uh, in by my statistic, which is not really detailed, around 85 bucks on eBay, if they are really, really like new. So this is actually a little bit low right now. Of course you can find them for a couple of bucks, 14 or uh, 25 28 something like that i have run into that but uh, yeah well in the moment it's like 44 bucks right right so this guy is working let me try to focus a little bit mm, just a second right this dude is working uh it is plastic is uh semi-professional old professional that definitely not uh amateur stuff um, compared to this Panasonic, uh, they are kind of similar, but I like this Panasonic black plastic more. Maybe I'm not right on that, like objectively speaking, this one is also polished. It's not black, it's uh, some kind of, I don't know, weird color, but it's definitely not black. Probably you can notice that. There are differences in, um, well, differences in color. But, you know, I'm old school dude, I like black stuff, you know, professional looking, maybe that's just, as I said, subjective. People are subjective, and at the end of the day, well, maybe that's what makes us cool, I don't know, it depends about level of that subjectiveness. Um, yeah, color, uh, plastic, sorry. So, this plastic is uh, under the finger way better than this Aiva one. I don't know why they look this is this is uh, uh, technically speaking this is better recorder than this one and Panasonic one because it does have two 3.5 uh, millimeter connector and there is a voice activated recording with this one so the technically speaking this one is better okay um, they put some kind of cheap plastic on this one not cheap but still I don't like it you know it gets the job done and it does have a feeling but not as a professional feeling as this one or a panasonic one uh, technically this is better but the plastic is uh i don't know still it's cool you know so grab them why not if you have a little bit of money aside if you like these old thingies just as i am because i like stuff from cold war and a little bit after cold war you know analog stuff because the, the, the digital stuff these days, like Android stuff, you can show them in chess of, after a couple of years, and this will work uh, after 100 years, you just oil it a little bit to change capacitors, I don't know, and they, they will work. Uh, good luck with uh, today's uh, electronic, absolute piece of junk. Yeah, they do have capacity, but uh, yeah, subjective, as I said, I like old, old-fashioned stuff, you know, L lately I am into tubes lamps and stuff those kind of receivers and transmitters back to sanyo <clears throat> yeah cool stuff well let's do a little bit of experiment here uh let's rewind that to start and let's change speeds to see what kind of robotic voice i do have Anyway, battery is low, definitely. Ah, oh, freaking hell. Battery is low, I need to buy it. But right now it's cold outside, so... This is uh, 25, 30 centimeters from out. So there is a microphone between... Uh, sorry, there is a phone between... Yeah. 
Cool stuff. So pay attention uh, about capacity of, I mean, voltage of your batteries when you are dealing with these guys because they will work uh, when the battery is discharged, but you will get maybe not uh, usable audio. They will work, but there you go. So just make sure that you have nice batteries in them, like properly charged. And I have these and they're like, I don't know, man, these, these are like 15 years old. Oh, is there any markings on this one so I can so uh, so I can read it? Uh, oh, 2004, or this is just some kind of standard. I don't know. Maybe you can see this. 2004. Uh, let me check another one. This is not video about batteries, but when I hear, why not to check? This is this is wasted. This one is wasted. <laughs> Best before September 2003, man. I need to zoom this. Oh, I need to zoom this stuff. Best before September 2003. <laughs> no wonder they are not working. Yep. 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 My bad. I need to buy these. I don't know. I'm kind of cheap, man. Well, uh, right now, uh, that is the uh, end of the video. Uh, that was uh, my accent. I don't know if that's uh, from Alabama, Texas, uh, Massachusetts, or uh, Idaho. Well, anyway. Right, keep on rolling. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next one. Hey, yeah, and subscribe if you didn't. You know, there will be uh, plenty of uh, videos on this uh, channel about different stuff. Maybe I'm gonna find a job in Hollywood, man. Anyway, see you on the next one.